Well, it is back to school season and it's feeling the park today and it will throughout at least the next several days before we start to warm on up. Start with my picks of the week since we're at the start of a new week. Best bet looks to be Wednesday, but really it's a three-way tie between Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I don't throw around a 10 out of 10 often, but all three of those days are going to meet that threshold. Sunny and very comfortable, super nice stretch coming up. And really the only rain chance of the upcoming week looks to be on Saturday. Now Saturday could be a pretty wet day. The details though are still a bit murky in terms of the timing because it is still five days away. But as of right now, I'm calling early call three out of 10 potentially by Saturday. But today there's a few more clouds around, but no threat of any showers. It is much cooler. 67 degrees Fryhofer Sky Cam in Schenectady. And the wind is picking up out of the west at around 18 to 20 miles an hour. So that on top of temperatures being cooler is making it feel even crisper outside. So we look at the satellite over the past few hours, just getting these fair weather clouds popping on up where they're a little bit more dense over the higher terrain, a little bit less off towards the south and east. Cold front swung through last night and check out these wind vectors coming in out of the north and west. That's drawing down that cool Canadian dry air. Again, winds are sustained 10 to 15 miles an hour, but gusts throughout the rest of the afternoon could be anywhere from 20 to even up to 30 miles an hour. So again, making it feel even cooler. Current temperatures range from 75 where there's a bit more sun down in Poughkeepsie, 70 Albany, 68 Glens Falls, 53 right now. You're stuck on that number in Saranac Lake. This is good for some 10 to 15 degrees cooler than where we were 24 hours ago. And check out this, the change in the dew point, the change in basically the amount of moisture in the air has dropped dramatically. Dew points 24 hours ago were in the mid 60s. Now we are in the upper 40s to low 50s, and that's why it feels so refreshing outside. Lake George forecast, last time this season, I'm going to show this because it is Labor Day, the unofficial into the summer season. Unfortunately, not feeling too summer like today. So not the best, at least late day. Temperatures getting up to right around 70 degrees with a gusty wind, but still a nice outdoor day. Very refreshing outside. Tonight is going to be downright cold. Everyone, I think, drops below the 50 degree mark. Check out Bennington, 38 degrees for your low temperature tonight. Could be some patchy frost. And because of that threat, there is a frost advisory first time this season, but it's way up in the Adirondacks. So no threat outside of the higher peaks of the Adirondacks of seeing any frost, but still pretty remarkable to see that. And that is probably a sight we're going to have to get used to over the next few weeks. Tuesday, cool start tomorrow, mostly sunny. I think we're a touch warmer, or at least it feels a little bit warmer because there's less in the way of wind, 70 to 75 degrees. Keep the high pressure in place Wednesday, another top 10 day, 74 to 79 degrees. And Thursday, it's much the same, really nothing to show on the satellite or the radar. Close to average, so we're a little bit warmer, but there's lots of sun and it is a super pleasant stretch. Rain chances are basically zero all the way through the end of Friday, and then they really jump on Saturday. Saturday, again, could be a pretty wet day. A couple systems may be merging, still several days away, so the, the details are a bit murky, but we'll have updates as we move throughout the week. Until that point, very quiet. This afternoon, upper 60s to low 70s, cooler and gusty. Tonight is cold, 43 to 48 degrees, but with a lot of sun, we'll bounce back pretty quickly, 70 to 75 degrees during the day tomorrow. Here's that seven-day forecast, a quiet and pleasant and tranquil stretch over the next few days. Temperatures slowly warming up close to average. And then Saturday, really, Lara, the only rain chance of the upcoming week. Of course, on a Saturday. <laughs> After the break, thanks, Sam.